A few nights ago, we were going about our business when our dog's warning bark filled the quiet night. She was loud. Upon investigation, I experienced the familiar heart-pounding adrenaline rush that I always have when I encounter the beautiful creatures that are snakes. This particular snake has caused havoc in part of the United States, costing an estimated $2.5 million per year in an effort to detect and control the species. But more about that later. Side note, don't forget to like and subscribe. Well, let's get into it. Boiga irregularis is native to Australia, Papua New Guinea and Melanesia. It is variously known as the brown tree snake, night tiger, brown cat snake, banded cat snake and the doll's eye. This last common name refers to the large vertically slit yellow eyes that along with its bulbous head make the species instantly recognisable. Tree snake gives away the fact that this snake is an excellent climber. All the better to find its prey. <laughs> birds, bats, eggs, and small mammals. This prey is either injected with venom or constricted. The venom is injected via two rear fangs that make it hard for them to deliver a serious blow to humans, but they are considered dangerous, if not deadly. Let's get back to that United States connection. So through US military transports in the 1940s, night tigers were accidentally introduced to the United States territory of Guam. Thanks to a lack of predators on the island, such as goannas, larger snakes and wild pigs, the night tiger is said to be responsible for the extinction of 9 out of 11 native birds. They also cause significant disruption through power strikes when they choose to shelter in electricity transformer boxes. The largest recorded night tiger was found on Guam at 3 metres long. Usually they only grow two metres, although I think some of the specimens observed in our garden are longer than that. Needless to say, we are very careful around them and very relieved that our dog sensed the danger and kept her distance. And we're also grateful that we don't have the estimated 30,000 brown tree snakes per one square mile that they have in Guam. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time I get into it.